Tom Sneed reporting for Total Telecom here at FTCH conference. And I'm here on the Iskratel booth with their CTO, Damien Slapar. So, Damien, tell us a little bit about Iskratel's FTCH uh, solutions. So, at Iskratel, we offer both point-to-point -point and uh, GPON-based uh, fiber to the home solutions that uh, actually cover uh, both uh, all types of users, anywhere from home users, end users, to small and medium businesses, and of course, uh, enterprises. That uh, And we cover the all range of services anywhere from broadband solutions, uh, IPTV and other uh, broadband hungry based uh, solutions, VPNs for the enterprises. At the heart of our solution is uh, Lumia C3000 that, that, that is actually SDN aware and while at the end uh, uh, users we have an award winning uh, inbox, uh, an award winning range of inbox CPE uh, solutions. And there's a lot of talk at the moment about the role of fiber, coax cables, doxis, etc. So what's Iskratel's position on that? Uh, we believe that uh, the fiber is the natural step uh, uh, after the, the, the copper or coax solutions. Uh, uh, and we can talk about the better operational cost, less, disturb less disturbance, uh, disturbance when uh, uh, upgrading. Uh, but at the end of the day, we have to also, and we have put this uh, down into a nice white paper, six uh, points that you can find on our corporate webpage. But at the end of the day, I would also like to mention the uh, end customer perception and customer value where they perceive, justified or not, fiber to be the next generation uh, uh, broadband solution and uh, with less disturbance and uh, more services that are going to be used by the end users, for example home surveillance, there's going to be a bigger need for the, for the broadband as well for the end users. And there's a lot of talk at the show about sort of digitalization of industries, the role of 5G and the IoT, so what, what do you see for that? Uh, so, uh, while fiber uh, uh, um, offers could have some of the cover, some of the use cases for the IoT solutions, for example, they could be wholesaler or, uh, or facilitator, um, there's a need uh, for a better backbone when the IoT devices are going to come. Although they're going to be covered, of course, by the wireless technologies, especially the forthcoming 5G, still the backbone is going to be on fiber. Uh, the frequencies, for example, for the 5G are not not yet defined, uh, but uh, from the talks I've heard, there's going to be uh, uh, high bands like 26 uh, uh, giga for uh, Europe, 28 for the US, and that means that those frequencies they don't even penetrate through buildings or trees anymore. So what we are talking about is access points on a on a strip lamp based, and that's why the fiber is going to be uh, one of the backbones, needed backbones for the 5G and IoT solutions as well. And it sounds like Escritel really do have a, a sort of roadmap for the, the future of FTTH. Of course, we uh, invest on a strategic level for Escritel. We invest a lot of time and resources, and we are already developing the next versions, the next stages of, of uh, FTTH and GPON solutions, uh, being uh, 10 uh, uh, GPON or 10 GS, symmetrical uh, GPON, and the GPON 2 in the forthcoming years. Damien, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.